So here's here's your here's your elm leaf. Okay, it's crooked, and uh, mine's kind of on the small side. The size of them that you're get that they're like American elm. The size isn't going to help, and the shape doesn't help. They're crooked and crooked based. But feel the top of that leaf. Rub your finger back and forth on that thing. In fact, you can hear it. Yeah. It's like. It's like sharp. Same thing. It's sharp. Yeah. That's called scabrous. Scabbard that you sharpen a blade on. So it's very, 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 very rough. And somewhat, you know, you think like, oh, well, what is slippery? That's, that sure isn't a slippery leaf. And no, it's not. I'll show you the slippery in a second. Then the buds. And here, sorry, we have them. There's only these few here. They're nearly black. They're as close to black as you're going to get in a, in a bud. And then, if you feel the twig, the tw find the twig out on the end, this one is pretty good. Come up and feel this. It also has those stiff, bristly hairs. Feel them on there? The same bristles that are on the leaf may go down on the twig. This one certainly is. So black, by the way, look, it's zigzagging, right? Yeah, it's slippery. Yep. I don't know, if there, are there any bristles on the twigs out there? Yeah, hey, back in here, this one definitely does. Okay, so what is slippery on the thing? Anybody know anything about it? It's the inner bark, the inner bark. And it's known to be mucilaginous. What does that mean? It has mucus. It's what? Mucilaginous. Makes you, makes you salivate. Makes you salivate. You know, Colonial Williamsburg days, you know, the pharmacist. They, they'd get a tree, pull the bark off, scrape all the white phloem, dry it, and you could go in and they would powder it, and you could stir it into a hot drink, mix it with willow bark, which brings a fever down. This stops you from coughing. Right, it's a pretty good little cold, cold and flu remedy, right? willow bark combined with uh, with that bark. Uh, so you don't have to use a twig, you, but you have to strip, the, you got to get the white. It's like getting into where the orange is on a black oak. You got to get into the white phloem. <coughs> and that's what's slippery, salivating, you know, the, the slippery. Uh, they don't grow like American elm. <laughs> they don't tend to do any kind of graceful, because this doesn't get, uh, it's very resistant to Dutch elm disease. Are these bigger on average? Like they're the, the same size as them. They're, they're a big tree, but they don't. There were no. They, they, they wouldn't replace American elm in like city streets again because they don't go out. They just kind of grow like most of our yeah, trees. They, don't have the, they, they, they have dichotomous branching, but they stay very uptight again. They just don't have. They're not known for the good form, or they would have been planting it. It doesn't because it doesn't get the disease.